You know, innovation is not always just one person coming up with a great idea. Teamwork often plays a big role in making big things happen. Sometimes putting your heads together is the best way to change the world. That's what happened with three schoolgirls in Ireland. By working together, they came up with a way to speed the seed. Three teenage girls in Ireland used their science savvy to help find a complex solution that will help meet a very basic human need, how to feed the world. Now 17 years old, when Sophie Healy Thau, Kira Judge, and Emer Hickey were just 14, they set out on a scientific journey that would take them three years down the road from a project in a dream in a home-based lab to becoming the winners of the esteemed Google Science Fair. And like every good idea, it all started by planting a seed, well, 10,000 of them, and finding a way to grow those seeds into life-saving crops faster. Hey there, thanks for joining us. Hi, Mo. Why was it important for you to speed up the germination process of certain crops? When crops are in the soil and they're dormant, in adverse weather conditions, they're actually very likely to rot. Also, we have found research to suggest that when fertilizer directly touches seeds, it can have a negative effect. So if we can speed up the germination and get plants growing quicker, less plants will be lost due to adverse weather conditions and also due to fertilizers affecting their growth. The teens had very little science background when they started and what would become an extraordinary scientific breakthrough began in a pretty ordinary way. Emer and her mom were gardening and they pulled up a pea plant and they saw on the roots of the pea, these pea plants, they were these like little wart-like nodules. My science teacher actually told us about this type of bacteria that naturally lives in the soil that works with legume plants like peas and beans. And we decided to do some research into this bacteria. They tried applying the bacteria called rhizobium not to peas and beans where the bacteria is found naturally, but instead to oats, barley, and wheat. And after three years of work, they realized they had made a huge breakthrough. When we applied the bacteria to the seeds, we found that we increased their germination rate by 50%, and then also we increased their dry mass yield by up to 74%. So it has massive implications. What's the impact that you want this research to have on the world? Hopefully by starting at the bottom, starting at the ground, and producing more raw material, we'll be able to increase the amount of food that's available for people, especially in the developing world. There is so many people out there who don't have enough food just to get by in their everyday lives. So we were hoping to just be part of like a massive puzzle that could try and relieve these people of the pain that they go through of not having enough food. Well, thank you, and we all wish you the best. Thanks, Mo.